Hello traders, in today's video we're going to be trading volatility and I'm going to be showing you guys a super easy strategy to really uh, make a lot of money on volatility. And here's how you do it. All right, so I'm probably going to have to minimize my webcam so you guys are going to have to say goodbye to me so I can show you guys. See ya. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> what if it was just me the whole time? That'd be really funny. Okay, so basically everything I'm going to show you guys is completely free and the setup that I have here is we're looking at Bitcoin volatility, uh, historical volatility over 24 hours. We're looking at the Bitcoin price overlay. And then finally, I'm looking at the delta, meaning the change of Binance futures open interest, okay? Now, for those who don't know, Binance just released all of their open interest a few months ago, released all of their open interest data for free on TradingView. You can get it right here. This indicator just did a delta of that. So the strategy that we're going to be looking at today is pretty simple, but incredibly lucrative. Um, it has a very good ROI. Basically, as I've said in previous videos, whenever you see a large increase in open interest, what that means is that we have a lot of new positions coming on the market. Now, when you see an open interest rise like this by, you know, 54,000 Bitcoin, and then, you know, maybe another 42,000 Bitcoin here, 42.94K, Bitcoin, just these massive rises in open interest, really what that means is that a lot of new fresh positions are coming on. Now, the best setup for this particular strategy uh, is as follows. When open interest increases a lot, but price has not really done much, so price is in low volatility, uh, open interest increases a lot, that is a very, very good uh, time to buy volatility. Now you might say, well, Bennett, how do I buy volatility? Well, the easiest way to buy it is to use FTX move contracts, um, the weekly contracts, but also the daily contracts. Let's go through a very quick example of that. Let's say that the current day is October 26th and you're looking at this exact chart. You don't have any data, but what you see is that volatility has increased, as you can see from the chop tar uh, top chart, uh, not pop tart, top chart. <laughs> uh, price is flat, which is good, especially good for buying volatility but you see just massive increases in open interest. That would be a very good time to start thinking about buying a lot of move contracts. So this is actually what was happening with move contracts at about 13 o'clock UTC. So on the 26th, as you can see, this is the 26th, and at 13 o'clock, uh, the price of the move contract, uh, let's go to a 12 hour, perfect. I'm going to zoom in and hopefully it doesn't kill our entire site. Um, I believe that the price of uh, this was around 400. Yeah. So at around 13 o'clock, you can see that the price of this move contract was about 400, right? And the green represents buys and the red represents sells. You would have wanted to definitely buy volatility, buy this contract at 13 o'clock at about $400. Uh, you know, had you bought it at about, let's say, 450 on average, uh, this contract just ballooned higher. It went up to $1,000, uh, almost $1,000. So you would have made over two times whatever money you had put in. You know, had you bought uh, five contracts, I don't really want to do the math, but that would be about a $2,000 profit. Now, you might say, well, wh what would be the basis of all this? How on earth would I know to buy volatility at 13 o'clock at a price of 450 and then sell it really on any move higher? Well, the reason is, look at all of this increase in open interest. When you see a large um, green delta, that means that a lot of people are entering into positions. And when a lot of people enter into positions, things get crazy and very volatile, which pays you a lot of money uh, if you do go long a move contract. Okay, so that is one example, but we do need to look at others so that you know really how to perfect um, this, this strategy, of course. So this one's really beautiful, to be honest. It took a long time, but I really like it. Uh, let's go through what's going on here. The price of Bitcoin's not really doing much. You know, it's just around like 19,100, 19, nothing's really happening. We see a slight uptick in volatility, the B vol, but really nothing. But the most important thing is right here. We see a large increase of 36,000 Bitcoin uh, in open interest, a large increase. Now, before any really large movement happened, that was about uh, five, and a half, uh, five and a half hours later. So let's say you had bought volatility on the 23rd of October, um, you know, on a Sunday, somewhere around there. I know a lot of people, it's probably typically better to short on a Sunday, but let's go look. 
So uh, is it even going to load? Oh, here we go. Perfect. I was not expecting it to even load. So let's say you had bought volatility at, let's say you had noticed this, and then you bought it at, let's say, around 12.30 um, UTC. You know, what would have happened? Uh, had you bought at around 12.30 UTC, you would have bought at a price of about 160 to 170. Now, first off, you would have lost, uh, you would have appeared to have lost some money as the uh, price of volatility, the price of the move contract did go down from 160 something, you know, to the 130s. But with this kind of strategy of recognizing an increase in open interest and then doing something about it, the best thing typically is just to wait it out and to wait till expiration. Uh, and had you done that, you could have made a fair amount of money actually, uh, because price went not only 2x of 160, but a, a lot more than 2, 2x. Um, the high was almost $500. So that would have tripled your money. You know, Had you bought anywhere around here, when you saw a large increase in open interest in the delta, uh, you would have made a, a fair amount of money because volatility spiked. And not only that, but uh, if you had bought volatility on the, on the Monday contract, you would have made even more money. Because as you can see, volatility was increasing a lot from Sunday 23rd to Monday the 24th. And you can see just how much open interest was increasing. So buying volatility on Monday, uh, i.e. the 24th move contract, uh, 1024 move contract, really buying this move contract at any time would be incredibly lucrative and incredibly plus expected value. Uh, this, okay, let's see. Okay, so we have the 24. So had you bought at the beginning of, let's see here, had you bought at the beginning of um, the move contract around here, when it opened at around 272, it almost doubled. Uh, it went up to about 400, which isn't a big increase, but it is an increase nonetheless. So buying, you know, when the move contract was flat around here, that would have certainly have, uh, have paid out well. All right, so I wanna go look at one more example of where, yeah, right here's another really good example too. As you can see here, uh, I, don't, I don't really need to show much, but you can see volatility increase and open interest just went a lot up. Uh, and uh, obviously, you know, Bitcoin price was all over the place. This would have been a great time to buy volatility too. Uh, not much really needs to be said. You can do this on the one hour, but that might be a bit slower, to be honest. Um, that's why I prefer this on the five and the 15 minutes. You know, I, I don't really like looking at the one hour, to be honest, guys, with, with this kind of data. But if we go all the way back, because I do want to finish this example on like one more thing. This one's good too, actually, yeah. Uh, this one's pretty good. So this is a beautiful example. A large increase in Binance open interest. Price is flat around 19100 19200 Had you bought volatility on uh, Wednesday uh, 19, which would be here, had you bought volatility at around, you know, 23 o'clock, right after this has happened, was about 23 o'clock. Um, you probably would have needed to buy the next contract because that would be one hour before close, but yeah, 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 because that was the end of the day. So had you bought volatility on the 20th, that would have been pretty good because of all this open interest increase. This one looks like it actually wouldn't have been great, to be honest. I think the timing of this volatility wasn't great because it was at the death of one contract the beginning of the other contract, so. But yeah, in total, I think you guys kind of understand the strategy, but to recap, what you do and what you do not want to see. If volatility has already increased a lot, it's not as good, but it is still, you know, you can still buy an increasing volatility. You can still buy a move contract, even when volatility um, is increasing, of course. But the best thing really ever is when volatility is falling or volatility is flat. Remember this right here, guys, is volatility. When volatility isn't doing much, kind of falling, whatever, not really doing much, Price is flat, really not doing much, but you see just massive jumps in open interest. That's a sign that Bitcoin might do some shenanigans, you know? So that's typically a really good sign to hop in. And my favorite time frames for this are the five and the 15 minute. You can see very clearly here, uh, the large increases in open interest, right? Large increases in open interest that led to a large rise in volatility. And of course led to a, uh, probably a, a large rise in the price of the contract, as you can see right here. One last example, I keep saying that, but right here, this contract went from $200 to a high of 500. Uh, and if we had gotten this at 20 o'clock, let's go see what was happening 20 o'clock right here. Um, yeah, there's a lot of open interest increases, not really anything much to be honest, but a lot of little tiny open interest increases would have been good to buy volatility.
So you guys get that. Okay, so that is going to do it for just a little alpha leak. Just wanted to show you guys some things that can help. Um, basically, large increases in open interest when volatility hasn't caught up to it yet can be a really good time to buy volatility. And the type of volatility that people can buy um, would be weekly move contracts or, of course, uh, daily move contracts. And the ROI and the expected return can be pretty good. Um, so, yeah, that's it for this little volatility strategy, the open interest to um, vol correlation. Hope it was helpful and go make some money. Happy trading.